much. Hi guys, and happy Saturday. I hope you're having a remarkably fun Saturday. We had a great Saturday. <laughs> really, really fun Saturday. I was at the thrift, and I got a phone call from my dad and said, are you doing anything today? And I said, well, you feel like doing something, you know? Because <laughs> it was a glorious weather day, and um, he was feeling really good. And I said, well, you know, I was going to go to Patterson. I was going to go to the Patterson Thrift if you want to come. He's like, yeah, yeah. So um, I picked him up uh, when I left the thrift, picked him up, and we did we did the Patterson Thrift, and we did the Pasek Thrift, and um, it was very, very fun. Very, very fun. So my dad likes to get out of the house when he feels good. So I'm happy to take him, you know. And um, we had a very fun day. So during the week, I did go to the thrift. First, let me say it was so beautiful today that I hung I hung the flags, I hung my Santa flags and my Christmas flags, and I got some stuff started outside. Perfect day. I mean, 65 degrees maybe, you know, for November 21st. That's pretty insane. And they said that we might have a mild winter. And if this is any indication, I kind of tend to believe it. And it makes me pretty happy. <laughs> so, um, very, very insanely stressful work week. I, I can't even go into it here online um, on, you know, with you guys because um, legal issues involved and it's just really, oh God, what an intense week. Uh, I don't ever, ever want to have a week like this again. Um, it just tells me that I, I have to be out of there in a year. I have to be retired. I have to retire in a year. So uh, that's, that's the plan. I, I have to do it. The stress of that job is way too much for an old person. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I went to the thrift one night this week and I found some very cool things. I found this fabulous Beatles plaque which I absolutely adore, and it's right here. Um, isn't that great? I, I mean, just let, let it be. Of course, just beautiful. Um, I found this sweet little snowman. You know that I'm a snowman fiend. Um, it's very hard for me to resist really cool snowmen. And this is a snow girl because she's got a little cape. And it's really, really cute, and she's right here. Um, I also found a pretty mega wreath, big, gigantic wreath, the kind that's about 35, 40 bucks in the thirst, uh, in the uh, craft store, you know, blank, empty. For you to do but it was already done with two bows and a couple of pine cones and it's it was fine for me for outside got it for $7.99 right here so oh and one more thing uh, for 49 cents I got listverse.com's ultimate book of bizarre lists this is fantastic on the back it says freaks of nature, odd crimes, shocking deaths, devastating disasters, blood curdling rites, crazy conspiracies, and much, much more. What a fun thing. So this is a freaks of nature. I said, yeah, I gotta have it. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff me and Skeety love. So I got this for 49 cents because it was the half price uh, uh, color that night so really and look it's a huge book so really fun right now I'm reading a book about 
McSorley's Old Ale House in New York City. Um, McSorley's has a great history and the book is fascinating. I can barely put it down. And um, the thing about McSorley's is it followed tradition so heavily that women weren't even allowed in, were not even allowed inside until 1970. And that's only because some women's libbers um, fought it and they won. <laughs> so from 1970 on, women are allowed in there. From 1970 prior, they could not set foot in McSorley's. <laughs> Amazing, right? So old fashioned and backward, but cool. I mean, it gives the place um, that historical vibe. And uh, the book is fascinating. It's called Two and Two. Very good. Because you can only order two beers at a time there. And they only sell beer. They don't sell anything else. They only sell beer. You, have, you can buy two lights or two darks, but you can't buy one. You can only buy two. You can buy a light and a dark, or two lights, two darks, but you cannot buy one beer. <laughs> Crazy. I don't know. Whatever. And they don't have any beer but McSorley's Ale. So, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. So, this morning, I was in um, the thrift, when my, like when, I, when my dad called me. Um, I was in the thrift, and I had I found, you know how I love the architectural pieces? And I found this gigantic one, which I will put on the deck next spring, but it's this one. It's really fabulous. It's really cool and really tall. See that? I don't know how it shows because I'm by the Christmas tree here, but it's really beautiful, really ornate, and this will be going on my deck in the spring. I love it. I love things like this. You know that. What else did I find? I found this little pillow. I fell in love with this pillow. I don't know. Something about, you know how um, certain things just, you, you just fall in love with it. I mean, it was only $2.99. I'm going to put it on the front um, porch chair, and I really love it. You know, I, I buy lots of pillows for outside, and when they get grunged up, I throw them out, and I get new ones. So, it's perfect to buy them in the thrift. Um, we are drinking El Segundo's, Steve Austin's Broken Skull IPA. I've showed you this one before. It is one of my favorites. I don't know. You can see, yeah, there you go. You can see fine. Look at that. One of my faves. Um, big pint cans, four pack. I think it's like 14 bucks a four pack, but it's really worth it. It's so good. Broke, Steve Austin's Broken Skull IPA. Really, really good. Okay, now, <laughs> the other thing I found this morning, very, very fun. This, uh, and, and it's really fun because I just found out about this particular Christmas um, tradition, can we say? It's a crazy thing, but it's fascinating, and it comes from um, Spain, okay? It originated in Spain, and I believe it's the Castilian region where one of my brother's ex-girlfriends was from. She was Castilian. And so I was amazed that I never heard of this before. <laughs> I learned of this from, of all people, Jim Gaffigan, <laughs> the, the remarkable comedian, Jim Gaffigan. Um, and what the tradition is, is a little figure that goes with the Castilian nativity set called the Caganier. All right, <laughs> so the Caganier is a little figure of like, maybe like, um, this is crazy, but it's true, I'm telling you, there are Castilian um, companies that, um, what do you call it, um, specialize 
in this particular thing and they make them from Gigantor to Little Tiny and the Caganier is a like a shepherd and I am not kidding you he is squatting down taking a crap honestly and um, I found a Caganier on eBay and I grabbed him because I said this is the most bizarre tradition I've ever heard and I really need to incorporate it because it's I would love for people to say what the hell do you have that there for you know what I mean and I want to tell them that this is the Caganier from um, Castilian tradition he is um, part of their nativity and what it symbolizes is the fertilizing of the land and the word of God okay does it make sense so uh, it the as bizarre as it is it has a wonderful meaning and um, I think it's so insanely funny so the other thing I found this morning at the thrift was this like I don't know medieval type well not even medieval what do you call it ancient kind of wall um, with bricks and you know plaster whatever you want to call it this is this is made by babes in Bethlehem babes babes of Bethlehem that's it and see it's this ancient wall and I'm gonna put the Caganier right in front of it and I think that is beyond perfect and I took a picture of this in the thrift store and I sent it to Skeety I said I'm putting my Caganier right in front of this and he was like oh my god that is so perfect you know so I, it's just the coolest thing and you know learning about oddball traditions like that and other you know anything anything new that comes along comes my way I'm gonna like if I think it's really cool or strange I'm gonna incorporate it into my Christmas because I think that is nuts and if you look on YouTube you'll see many many um, documentaries or little clips and things about the Caganier and you'll see um, there is one documentary about the uh, factory one of the fat one of the companies that makes them and it's really really fascinating and they, they call them Caganier but they it's been uh, spelled Caganer just like that Caganer C-A-G C-A-G-A-N-E-R so if you want to look it up you can really really fun oh my god so the Caganier is on the way he's coming from new uh, from Amsterdam New York shouldn't take long to get here when I get them of course I will show you because I'm dying to show you in detail these things are crazy I even Gaffigan said when he was telling it he said I'm not lying I'm not making this up <laughs> and it's true because I did look it up you know and it's for real and it's amazing I mean insane right so some of you may have heard of that before but I never did and I'm a Christmas buff I'm I never heard of it but I love it I think it's so great all right so and I think he'll look great in front of that wall right <laughs> I think that's perfect for the Caganier. All right, so we went to the Patterson Thrift, drove around and around, couldn't get a parking spot. And I always worry about that because my dad doesn't walk so good, so I don't want to park far away. For me, I don't care. You know, I'll park up the block and walk down, no big deal. But it just so happened that we were coming around the bend and a guy said do you want this space he was like pointing to his space we we're like yes and he pulled right out we pulled right in we just lucked out you know so in there we found 
Um, we didn't find too much. I was looking for really cool Christmas stuff. They didn't have anything, and that place usually does, because that's where I got this big, big Santa last year, and I gave Santa a wreath. Remember him? It's also where I got a uh, Yule Jingle Fjord, the little animated uh, elf. I got them both the same day there. It's one of the best thrift stores ever. I mean, it's it's a warehouse. It's, it's enormous. That's why I couldn't believe my father could make it through, and he did. He did really, really well today. I mean, he must have really felt good. Um, what we did find there, we looked through all the CDs. My father got a pair of shoes. Uh, got a bunch of CDs. He got a Janis Joplin and a um, Carol King, two of his favorites. He likes to listen to those in the garage when he hangs out. And I got um, a Charlie, uh, Vince Guaraldi Trio, Charlie Brown Christmas. Of course I have it. I have it. Oh, have always had it. But I wanted one for my office. And I didn't want to forget to bring it home or so I want one for the office. So I got one for the office. This is one of my favorites of all. Vince Guaraldi Trio, brilliant. One of the most beautiful soundtracks ever. So I got this one for the office. And then, in the same place, I found a special edition. So I don't want this for the office, I want this for home. But it's really, I mean, a special edition with bonus tracks. It's really beautiful. It's got a little booklet in here about uh, the Geraldi Trio and the making of the um, cartoon and all. It's really, really cool. This has bonus tracks with um, alternate versions of some of our well-loved songs. And uh, I was thrilled with that. Speaking of Geraldi, <laughs> listen to that. We're talking about them and it comes on Sirius XM. Is that something or what? So, got those. My dad bought those for me because he was buying CDs too. That blows my mind, right? How fabulous. And then we went over to the Passaic Thrift, which is a new thrift, and I haven't taken you there yet, Raymond. It's, it's cool. I, I, something about the way they set it up that I don't like, but uh, when you come back, we'll, I'll, I'll take you there and you'll see what I mean. All right, but over there, we found, we found a um, Van Morrison CD for my dad. He was a huge Van Morrison fan. So we found that and then we found this. And this is a show and tell. But this is the older show and tell. This is the first show and tell phonograph with the big screen. Okay? This one has the big screen. The one that I have, the uh, Harvest Gold one that I have is um, very s late 70s, I guess. This is probably early 70s. Um, I don't know when these came out, if it was late 60s or 70s, but. The gold one that I have is very streamlined. It's, it doesn't have as big of a screen like this. So that's what that's why we know this one is the earlier version. And it's beautiful. And the light uh, works and the turntable is strong. This one only has a problem with its tone arm. So it does have a needle in it, but I'm guessing maybe the cartridge is shot. So I'm gonna take it down to Craig the Record King when I can. And we'll go, we'll go over it together because both of us, with the both of our knowledge, we should be able to do something with it. But this is beautiful. I got it for five bucks. Well, my dad bought it for me. He, he was like, oh my God, look, a phonograph. And we were like, wow, five bucks. So that is cool. The old ones are so cool because they have the bigger screen, which makes more sense, you know. So, uh, these never turn up. So, I was pretty damn excited about that. So, we had a very, very fun day. Thanksgiving is coming up already. So fast. The year is almost over. It's going to fly from here on, right? Uh, next week, I have Thursday, of course, Thanksgiving and Friday off. 
and then I have uh, I think I'm off I'm off on the 18th and then Christmas week New Year's uh, week we all have you know short weeks because the holidays fall on the Friday so that's pretty cool and uh, I just can't believe the year is cl coming to a close already but I'm kind of glad because 2020 was like the, the year from hell it's like the, the year that everyone everyone wants to see go uh, I think we've had way more than enough this year I don't think we could take any more so if my dad wants to, wants to go out on a Saturday afternoon I'm gonna take him because who knows when the next lockdown is and it's bad enough for old people to not be able to go out when they're not feeling great or when the weather sucks but it's a total another thing to not be able to go out because they locked everything down you know so uh, I'm very happy to take them out and get them out because you know I take my mom out on Sundays so that she can get out and do the things she needs to do so anyway I think that's about it I was so happy to find the show and tell wow and it's the older model so if we can get the tone arm functional everything else on the machine works perfectly it has a great core a really good um, healthy cord um, the motor is very strong both speeds work uh, the light works which is great for the um, slides, you know, for the uh, picture slides. It's just the tone arm, which I think probably will wind up being a um, the cartridge. And Craig has been very good at changing out the cartridge, like finding a good cartridge and putting it in there uh, and making the phonograph work. So I'm confident that he can fix that. And uh, so I'll bring it down there as soon as I can. Hopefully, I'll try and get it down there before lockdown so that we're not cut off from each other once again. And that's about it, guys. I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. I hope it's beautiful where you are. I hope you're getting ready for the holidays. Christmas pod, podcast link below. Christmas pod is up, first one. I uh, hope to do another one very soon. I have some Christmas records on the way. Some new Christmas records on the way. So, um, starting to plan another one in my head. So that'll be pretty soon. This week is Thanksgiving. I hope you're ready to roll with that. Um, comment, subscribe spread the holiday cheer. I love you all. I'll talk to you very, very soon.